On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make these very cute engagement ring cupcakes. I'm starting out with two bowls of the vanilla flavored white candy wafers. And um, we're going to fill it up probably a fourth of the way. One of them is going to be colored like a silver gray and one of them is going to be kept white. So we'll put this in the microwave. All right, so I stick them in the microwave for 20 seconds each time. Um, and then that makes sure that it doesn't burn or it doesn't get overheated. And so um, it probably went about 40 seconds. So I have my white and this was also white, but I added some black coloring into it. I just used a Wilton um, black coloring. And I'm trying to go for like a silver look, so this is exactly what I wanted. And this is my mold. It has rings on it. And here's a better picture of it. And this is why we're going to use the chocolate, because these molds are perfect. So we need to start with the white color. And we're gonna fill in the diamond first. You can get like a coloring bag or you can put this in a decorating bag, but um, I'm just gonna quickly do this with a spoon and fill in the diamond. It doesn't need to be perfect because we'll be able to chip away the excess. Just like that. And then we're going to tap out all the air bubbles. And now we are going to put it in the fridge for, since these are pretty small, I would probably say 15, 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll come back. Okay, so these are ready. I just popped them out of the mold after about um, 15 minutes. And I'm getting a sharp knife, and as you can see, hopefully you can see, that this part is the diamond, but we have a little bit of the ring um, band on there because I filled it a little bit too high. So what we're going to do is I have a pretty sharp knife. I'm going to go around the ring, shaving off the extra that we don't need. And then once I get to the ring band, I'm just going to cut it off right where the diamond ends. And it's a pretty clean cut if you have a sharp knife. Just like that. And do that for all of your diamonds. I've cut out my diamonds and they don't look like much so far, but they're going to look fantastic and I placed them back in the mold and then I filled a baggie with my silver chocolate and cut a tiny little hole on the end and this is how we're going to fill in the rest without making a huge mess and making sure that the ring keeps its shape and do that for all of your Thanks. I have my cupcakes ready and I baked them in sort of a, it's, it's a very cute damask. It's um, white and black and here's a better picture of it. Um, but once I baked the chocolate in it, it definitely loses its color. So if you're doing like a white cake or um, a yellow cake, I would suggest using these. Um, but if not, you can definitely find some very cute paper. For this particular wedding shower, um, it's a black and white and with a little accent of pink. So I found this very cute paper and I'm going to be able to wrap it around so that each cupcake is uniform and they look great. But first, I'm going to frost these cupcakes. And I want to kind of build it up, but I don't want it to be too high because I want the rings to be the center point. 
So I'm going to go around the cupcake like this and only build a little mound on top. This is very frilly, very cute. And I'm using my built-in 2D tip. Looks like a flower. Um, and I'll just keep doing this on all of the cupcakes. I start on the outside and I bring it in. All right. And now I'll be able to add the paper. I feel like it just gives such a cute accent touch to it. And then we'll start getting the rings ready and put them on top. I have my rings out of the fridge and they look great. They just need some polishing up. So I've taken a knife around this one um, and just gotten the pretty harsh pieces off. Um, you know, the ones that are really sticking out pretty bad. And I just slowly trim around it. But for the middle, the inside of the ring, um, I like to use a toothpick or a skewer. And I'm basically going to go around the edges on the inside and it slowly peels it away. You just go around the edges. It is very easy to get this out. And it gives you a smooth edge. There you go. So if you do that for all of your rings, they'll be ready for the cupcakes. So we can't forget to add some special bling to it. So I've added this silver petal dust and this is a dry paintbrush and I've really just been adding some sparkle to it and it looks fantastic. It finally looks like a wedding ring. So pretty and sparkly. And do that for all of your rings. Alright, let's add the glittery rings on top. These look so awesome. Just stick it right in the middle of the frosting. I like them sticking straight up. And then to add an accent of pink, I have some beautiful pink sparkles. And I'm just going to sprinkle some on top. Oh my goodness, these look so cute. Perfect for a bridal shower, um, even maybe at a wedding if you would want. And you can customize the colors to be any that you want um, so that it matches any occasion. All right, and you can add as much or as little as you like. And those look so cute. I love it.